for brevity, I'll just point out a few things because I know our time is limited because, <laughs> you know, this is a, a, a situation, folks, that if we go over an hour 10, we got to start paying for the, ah, the service. No, so, wow. so, <laughs> so we won't do that. Live golf coming up next here on YouTube. <laughs> exactly right. So, so Brian, um, ultimately, Mr. McMahon and Vince McMahon are the same. Mm-hmm. They're the same. I know that when you have a character in wrestling, it's supposed to be you, but turned up to 10 or 11. And unfortunately for many that's been around Vince McMahon on the negative side, that Vince McMahon and Vin and uh, Miss McMahon are the same. Uh, watching that documentary, you could just see that the guy uh, is troubled. And I think it goes back to his childhood, which I think is probably, he's probably never talked about openly enough to kind of heal those wounds with, with his family. I think it was a little murky about him, his relationship with him and his mom. I didn't know how to, not sure how to take that. Right. Um, uh, but he did talk about the abuse he had as a kid. But moving forward, though, as an adult, I just think that Mr. McMahon and Vince McMahon, you know, as far as his womanizing, that was on screen, that's in reality. Right. The, way, the way he talked to people, the way he did business, he did that on screen, but also did behind the scenes. So for all the good he might have done, the bad just bubbles through and comes through on this documentary. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like for me, and I know this documentary isn't made for the hardcore fans like us that know all these stories. There wasn't a lot where it's like, oh, I didn't know that, or like this is interesting. Like it felt like stuff you already knew. But that I think is a perfect summary. Like that last episode when they're talking about what is the legacy of Vince McMahon, and David Shoemaker summed it up best, where you can't ignore the good and what he did and making pro wrestling what it is. But that doesn't mean you're allowed to separate the bad. And there's a lot of bad with that man. And, you know, the wrestlers, they don't seem to agree with that. They're like, oh, no, all good. That's my guy. It's like, yeah, but there's a lot of really bad stuff that you're not allowed to ignore because lives are impacted by it. So I think that was the perfect way to summarize it. He is the same person. I know he tried denying it at one point, but that's who he is. And I think that's ultimately the biggest takeaway from it. Okay, so... It is very difficult for some of these former wrestlers, especially some of these former wrestlers and front office people that have podcasts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard for them to break bad on Vince McMahon because the reason why they're millionaires, Brian, is because of Vince. Right. Uh -huh. But I was raised to believe that if you did something wrong, you're wrong. Right. No matter the good that you've done, no matter the philanthropy and everything else that you've done, Man, if you are involved with the Janelle Grant situation or if you've paid off people like Rita Chatterton uh, and you've been accused of rape multiple times, when you have knowingly know that there was a, a ring boy scandal with Mel Phillips and Terry Garvin and Pat Patterson and you brought Pat Patterson back into the fold knowing when Tony and I believe Tony Atlas and Tony Atlas says, yeah, you know what? Um, Pat Patterson grabbed my pecker. Right. And I could, there was no HR to go to, so I had to keep wrestling. I mean, and, and Vince is aware of it. Um, that that's that's really troublesome. But this is his playground, Brian. That's the whole thing. This is like whatever whatever Vince wants, Vince gets. Yeah, and, and so, everyone and, seemed until, to buy into that until now. Until right. now. No, this is the first time he sort of had his come up, Vince, and finally, you know, that's why he was defiant about it. And we saw the SmackDown thing. We saw everything play out in real time over the last year and a half. And just hearing some of those stories where when they asked everyone, and this was, they made sort of noted on the screen, it was two years ago when they're asking these questions of what his legacy is. Seeing that the politician says nothing, Hogan being Hogan is like, oh, wrestling will die when he's gone, which checking on my calendar here, Hogan seems to be a little off on that because Vince has been gone for a little bit and wrestling actually seems to be going the opposite direction. But, you Correct. know. You do you there, Hulkster. And the way everyone, like, Taker getting choked up and seeing the way everyone still talks about him, like, they're just not able to separate it, which is baffling. He's a patriarch. Right. Because they, they think about all the meetings that they've had with Vince and all the money that they've made from Vince, and they can't separate it.